Hello guys. In this tutorial, I will take you through the process of downloading shapefiles from OpenStreetMap using Quantum GIS. Quantum GIS provides different ways of downloading data, and here we will explore one of those. To begin, expand the XYZ option on the table of contents, if not already expanded. Select OpenStreetMap from the drop-down menu, then add it to your project. After you have added OpenStreetMap, you may want to zoom in to the spot you are interested in. To do this, use the Zoom tool. If it's not already active, you can activate it from the Tools menu. Then click on the map and drag your mouse to draw a box around the area you want to see up close. Keep doing this until you have zoomed in enough. In my case, I'm looking at the Western Cape Province in South Africa. Navigate to the Tools menu and select Vector and then choose Open Street Map. You will land on this page. Here you can search for specific shapefile names that you are looking download. This will narrow down your selection. As you can see from the drop-down menu, the list is very long, so using a search will be wise. So I'm going to type place in the search box. You should also specify what kind of place you are searching for, because there are lots of choices here too. The list is really long, so to make it easier, I'm going to type suburb. When you start typing, the word should pop up automatically after a few letters. Just click on it to select it. Then set the spatial extent. There are different options to choose from. I prefer using the canvas extent, but you can also use the layer extent if you have the layer for your area of interest. If you choose the layer extent option, only the data inside that layer's boundary will be downloaded. But if you choose the canvas extent, like I did here, it will download the data covering the area currently shown on the map. Go to advanced settings to specify the geometry type. Since I want to get the place data in a point shape file, I'll choose the point geometry and make sure to deselect all the other options. It's important to note that if you don't uncheck the other options, the software will download shape files for all of them. After specifying the geometry type, set the output location and specify the format. In this case, I'll choose the shape file format and then specify the file name. In the file prefix field, I'm going to type WC, which is Western Cape underscore suburb. Before you execute the query, just quickly check if everything is okay. If you are happy with everything, you can execute the query because my area of interest is small. It will take a few seconds to execute. The place data I downloaded in point form will show up on the map covering the Western Cape, my area of interest. You will see it is added to the table of contents. The layer might have a different name than what I saved it as, but you can easily rename it or add the saved file to the map. If you found this tutorial helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more content. Thank you for watching.